Hello students of class 8. Today we are going to do the poem to the evening star by William Blake. Now uh, before we go on to the poem about the poet William Blake. William Blake is uh, one of the very famous poets of English literature. Uh, he is not only a poet, he is also a painter and uh, he has, uh, you know, uh, there are many well-known poems of William Blake, like um, uh, Tiger, the Tiger, the Lamb. Um, and uh, the main thing about William Blake is that you know his poems are categorized into uh, into two. One is the uh, songs of innocence and songs of experience. And uh, you know, there are many other poems um, that he has written. Now, in the particular poem that we are going to uh, do today is about the evening star. Or uh, evening star, uh, which is also the planet Venus. And uh, Venus is also the Roman goddess of uh, love and beauty. So, to the evening star means this poem is addressed um, to the evening star. Now, before we go on to the explanation of the poem, uh, I would like to read out the whole poem once. To the evening star by William Blake. Thou fair head angel of the evening, now whilst the sun rests on the mountain's light, thy bright torch of light, love, thy radiant crown, put on and smile upon our evening bed. Smile on our loves, and while thou drawest the blue curtains of the sky, scatter thy silver dew on every flower that shuts its sweet eyes in time and sleep. Let thy west wind sleep on the lake. Speak silence with thy glimmering eyes and wash the dusk with silk. Soon, full soon, dost thou withdraw. Then the wolf rages wild. And then the lion glares through the dun forest. The fleeces of our flocks are covered with thy sacred dew. Protect them with thine influence. So, uh, we find that the poet is not only addressing the evening star, but he is also making a lot of requests to the evening star. Now, before uh, uh, you know, I read out the poem. Um, I already told you that evening star refers to uh, the planet Venus. Uh, it's also given in your uh, book that as the fair-haired angel of the evening, which is also Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty. So. The poem itself starts um, in a uh, way where the um, evening star has been compared to an angel. Thou fair head angel. That is uh, fair head in the sense, you know, uh, the light color of the hair. Okay the fair head angel of the evening so see the and the very from the very first line we can understand that uh, the evening star has been personified and this fair head angel is also uh, i mean thou the very word thou uh, you know you are giving an um, human attribute um, to the its human quality to the star so that's why it's personification and this fair haired angel uh, this particular phrase is also a metaphor 
and what is a metaphor a metaphor is a uh, you know and it's called an implied simile where you know the comparison is made but in a simile we use the word like or as but in a metaphor we don't use means the comparison is not direct but it is an indirect comparison so what is the comparison over here the evening star has been compared to an angel and that is the metaphor over here of the evening <coughs> sorry now whilst the sun rests on the uh, mountain's light sun rests on the mountain's light means the setting sun it is talking of the setting sun the sun setting behind the mountain that is the uh, sun resting on the mountain so he is talking of the evening when the sun is setting down and we see the star going up on the sky this uh, star can is uh, stars are visible in the sky light light okay thy bright torch of love so uh, light uh, again you know you are giving a human quality again it's a personification thy bright torch of love the bright torch of love means uh, here uh, see the uh, evening star is um, a bright uh, you know shining body means shining star so it is uh, illuminating is lighting up the whole sky so it's like a bright torch in that way and what is what will it uh, do by being there a uh, bright torch of love so this evening star is not only there in the sky but it is also spreading the message of love uh, in the world okay uh, on earth in that way the radiant crown put on so uh, in the very uh, beginning itself we have seen that this evening star has been compared to a an angel so uh, you know in that Uh, with that same image in mind the uh, poet is asking the <clears throat> angel to put on its crown and crown means uh, you know uh, generally we uh, crown means a king or queen wears a crown so uh, it symbolizes you know a majesty you know a uh, powerful the evening star is also very powerful put on and smile upon our evening bread so another request you know it is making a lot of requests first it's saying that um you uh, light up the tort means uh, spread the message of love and illuminate that you are illuminating the whole atmosphere and you spread the message of love then it's saying that you put on the crown and then it is saying smile upon our evening bread your smile refers to uh, you know since uh, as uh, i've already said it's the roman goddess uh, of love and beauty so um, this uh, smile upon our evening bed could also mean that uh, the poet is asking the uh, goddess to bless on earth means with its smile smiling here uh, in one sense could be uh, to bless the earth so uh, for these uh, these uh, this was the meaning of these four lines we will do the next portion of its next half of the uh, poem in the next class thank you